Oh, folks, we've got a wild bunch of NBA players and their exotic pets to talk about today. That'll make you wonder if the NBA's players are secretly competing in a who's got the weirdest pets championship. Lions, tigers, bears, and sharks? Oh, my. It's like Noah's Ark meets the basketball court. You know, I've always wondered if those pesky pets could handle a slam dunk. But hey, we're not here just to state the obvious. We're here to have some fun. Let's start with the one and only Carmelo Anthony. This guy's got skills on the court that'll make your jaw drop. But when it comes to his choice of pets, brace yourself, because it's a real head scratcher. Forget the usual dogs or hamsters. Oh, no. Mello goes all out, picks an animal that's practically a symbol for Wednesday. Drum roll, please. A camel. Yeah, you heard it right. A camel. Move over, hump day. It's all about Mello's camel now. I mean, seriously, who even knew he had a camel? It's like a sneaky surprise that he dropped on Twitter. Everybody got dogs and cats as a pet. I got a camel, he proudly declared. Well, hey, kudos to him for thinking outside the litter box. And let's not forget, this camel might be the MVP of desert travel. Now, you might be wondering why on earth he would choose a camel as a pet. Maybe he's really into the whole Arabian Nights vibe. Or perhaps he just loves the idea of riding through the city on a majestic beast. Or hey, maybe he's got a vendetta against cats, and he wanted a pet that could handle a one-on-one -on -one matchup against them. I mean, cats do have those killer crossovers, you know? Unfortunately, though, Mello no longer has his furry desert buddy. Maybe camels don't handle slam dunks as gracefully as we'd hope. But hey, it was a wild ride while it lasted, and it definitely made us raise an eyebrow or two. Moving on, we have Gilbert Arenas, the man who didn't just shoot hoops, but shot his shot at owning a crazy, jaw-dropping, and might I say, fantastic purchase. A shark tank. Oh yes, you heard it right. Gilbert had so much cash flowing from his epic 10-year NBA career that he decided, hey, I need some sharks in my life, right in my own home. Now, Gilbert's house was no ordinary mansion. It was a $3.5 million wonderland in Virginia. And amidst all the glitz and glamour, he decided that a regular fish tank just wouldn't cut it. Nope, he wanted something that would make the neighbors go, what in the world is swimming in his living room? And so, with a wink and a swipe of his credit card, he shelled out a whopping $1.5 million on just the installation of this aquatic marvel. I mean, who needs an infinity pool when you can have a real-life Jaws experience at home, right? You might be wondering, hey, wouldn't it be expensive to maintain a shark tank? You betcha! But no worries, Gilbert's got that covered too. He doesn't scrub the tank with a sponge and some elbow grease. Oh no, that's what mere mortals do. Instead, he hires someone to take care of the tank, and boy, that's no minimum wage gig. He dishes out $1,500 a month to make sure his Finn friends are living the luxury life. But wait, there's more. Just like ordering fast food, Gilbert's sharks have their own version of the supersized combo meal. Every month, he drops a cool five grand on feeding his extreme pets. I mean, imagine the delivery guy showing up at his door with buckets of fish. Talk about having the most unusual and expensive food delivery ever. Now, hold your tissues because here comes the sad part. Gilbert's shark tail took a turn for the worse when, tragically, his beloved aquatic buddies met their untimely end. Rest in peace, sharks. The cause of their demise remains a mystery, but you know what they say, when in doubt, blame the penny. I'm not saying Gilbert blamed his wife, but maybe the sharks mistook those pennies for fish food. They had an expensive taste, after all. It's a tough lesson to learn, but sometimes even the wealthiest among us have to face the harsh reality that sharks are, well, sharks. And with that, we bid adieu to Gilbert's underwater adventure, hoping that maybe next time he'll invest in a dolphin sanctuary or a whale watching center where no pennies are involved. Shifting our focus to the next play, let's talk about Anthony Davis, the beast on the court and one of the most dominant players in the NBA right now. I mean, this guy's moves are so smooth, they could rival butter on a hot summer day. Now, this dude signed a contract extension worth a jaw-dropping $145 million. Cha-ching! But guess what? The story gets even crazier. In addition to his hoop skills, he had a pet that could play peekaboo and do tricks. Wait for it. A marmoset monkey named Meek. Yeah, you heard it right. A monkey. And I'm not talking about a metaphorical monkey on his back or anything. It was an actual, real-life monkey. You see, this secret monkey business only came to light when Davis shared a snap of his new fairy buddy on Instagram. And boy, was it a surprise to everyone. I mean, who would have thought this towering NBA star would have a little monkey sidekick? Life sure is full of surprises, huh? Now, here's where the story gets even more entertaining. 
Davis, being his cool self, appeared on the Jimmy Kimmel show and spilled the beans about how he ended up with me. Apparently, his teammate, Matt, waltzed into the locker room one day with this critter on his shoulder. I can just imagine Davis's face when he saw that thing crawling around, thinking he needed an exterminator in the facility. Classic. But then, Matt casually dropped a bomb that it was his pet monkey. Can you imagine the shock on Davis's face? I bet he was like, uh, dude, why are you walking around with a monkey like it's no big deal? Hilarious. Of course, curiosity got the better of Davis, and he decided he wanted in on the monkey action, too. So, he got himself a marmoset monkey just like his buddy. He must have been thinking, if Mac can handle a monkey, so can I. But little did he know what he was getting himself into. Now, brace yourselves, because here comes the punchline. Davis thought his monkey would be doing all these amazing tricks, playing peekaboo and all that jazz. But guess what? His monkey had other plans. Turns out that Meek wasn't exactly the circus performing monkey Davis had envisioned. Ah, the disappointments. After enduring a year and a half of monkey antics, Davis finally realized that being a monkey caregiver was not his forte. I mean, who knew NBA players had such a soft spot for primates, right? So he decided to return me to his original owner, probably thinking, sorry, buddy, but you deserve someone who can truly appreciate your peekaboo skills. No, I, uh, I gave it back to him. I was like, you... you oh, it's really? Not, yeah, it's not so he me. now has two monkeys? Uh, he actually found out that he's not a great caretaker. But don't worry, the story has a happy ending. Meek, along with another monkey, yeah, there were two of them, found a loving new home with Davis's teammate. Guess some people are just natural monkey parents, huh? The spotlight shifts to Ben Simmons and his questionable life choices. Back in 2016, when Ben was drafted, he was already a superstar in the making. And hey, with an $18 million rookie deal, it's no wonder he wanted to flex a little, right? We've all seen him on Instagram showing off his flashy rides, the Ferraris, the Rolls Royces, and I'm pretty sure there was a unicorn or two in there somewhere. But you know what they say, money can't buy happiness, and in Ben's case, it can't buy responsible pet choices either. I mean, who in their right mind buys wild animals as pets? Apparently Ben Simmons does. He went out and got himself not one, but two Savannah cats. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar, these are like tiny domesticated versions of jaguars and panthers. Not your typical house cat, huh? Each of these little feline friends cost him a cool 5,000 bucks. I can only imagine how the conversation went with his financial advisor. Hey, Ben, you know it'll be a great investment? Two wild cats, totally worth it. Now, don't get me wrong. I love animals as much as the next person, but come on, Ben, what are you thinking? These cats aren't exactly the cuddly, domesticated companions you can find at your local animal shelter. No, sir. They're more like mini jaguars with a hint of, I'm going to scratch your face off if you come near me kind of vibe. Even Ben's brother, Liam, spilled the beans on this one. It started with one cat, and it seemed all fun and games. But then, our dear Ben thought, hey, my cat needs a buddy. And that's when things went from Instagram-worthy cute to wild animal nightmare. This second cat was so crazy that it hit from them all the time. And forget about trying to feed it. You'd give it a bowl of fruit, and it'd go full-on beast mode, attacking your hand like you were its prey. I can see it now. The Fruit Wars. Ben versus Cat. Fruit doesn't stand a chance. Finally, after about four or five months of living on the edge with these untamed feline roommates, Ben came to his senses. Hey, you know what? Maybe wild animals aren't the best idea as pets. Oh, you think, Ben? He admitted that these cats were his biggest money regrets so far in his NBA journey. No kidding, right? But hey, at least he learned from the experience, and that's what matters. Up next, we've got Dwight Howard, who's known for being a force on the court. But did you know he's got a whole other game going on behind the scenes? Forget about rebounds, we're talking about reptiles. Yeah, you heard me right, snakes. Get ready to slither into the snake-tastic world of Dwight Howard's reptilian mansion. Back in October 2017, Dwight Howard made an appearance on Animal Planet show Tanked. Now, hold your horses, because we're not talking about fish tanks here. Nope, this was a full-blown mini condo for a snake mansion. I mean, come on, who needs a mansion for snakes? Dwight Howard, that's who. This man is a legit snake enthusiast, and at one point, he had over 20 of these slithery creatures chilling in his house. Can you imagine having a slumber party with those guys? It'd be like a reptilian version of sleepover. Okay, maybe that was a bad joke. Now, Dwight had a real passion for his scaly friends, and he wanted them to live it up in style. 
So he teamed up with the tank crew to build the ultimate snake sanctuary. We're talking massive rooms, complete with trees and water features because, you know, snakes love to take a dip. Forget about that basketball court. Dwight wanted the snake paradise in his mansion. The tank team didn't mess around. They took things to the next level. The side for the larger snakes was a whopping 12 feet wide and 9 feet tall, taller than Dwight himself. When he saw it, he flipped out like a kid on Christmas morning. I mean, who wouldn't? Not every day you see a palace fit for a reptilian royalty. But hey, the snake mansion had it all. There was a fresh water tank for over 50 fish and a little aquatic neighborhood for the snake's aquatic buddies. Oh, and you better believe that Dwight's initials DH were splashed all over the place. Gotta let those snakes know whose crib they're living in, right? Now, they didn't forget about the safety of these slithering residents. Double locks on top to prevent any escape artists. We wouldn't want these guys making a run for it. Sorry, guys, you can't leave just yet. The snake party isn't over. And in case the snakes ever felt homesick for the wild, the team added some trees throughout. But hold on, before you start thinking they just slapped some branches in there, they tested those trees to make sure they could handle some snake acrobatics. Safety first, folks, even for snakes with superstar connections. The surprises kept coming like a fast break on the court. On the other side of the room, they built condos for the smaller snakes. Yeah, you heard me right, snake condos. These little guys had it all, heating, red lights, LED lights, heck, they probably had better accommodations than some human condos I've seen. But wait, the cost of all this luxury? Oh, just a measly fifty to $60,000. I mean, that's pocket change for an NBA star like Dwight Howard, right? If you're Dwight, you don't upgrade your home, you upgrade your snake mansion. But hey, I guess we should be thankful too, right? Because who doesn't want to see snakes living in the lap of luxury? Last but not least, the wild and extravagant world of NBA legend Shaquille O'Neal. Now, we all know Shaq is a beast on the court, but did you know he's also a beast when it comes to owning some wild pets? I mean, we're talking about the man with the money and endorsements to buy himself some weird companions. Oh yes, you heard that right. Shaq is the proud owner of not one, but two rare white tigers. I can't even wrap my head around this. I mean, who needs regular old house pets when you can have gigantic, majestic creatures prowling around your property? I guess when you're living legend, you do whatever you want, right? Now, before you start picturing Shaq playing fetch with his tigers in the backyard, hold up. The tigers don't actually live with Shaq at his house. Can you imagine that? Hey, buddy, meet my pet tigers, Tim and Tom. They're just chilling in the living room. But don't worry. We got some juicy details from an interview where Shaq talks about his epic companions. He may not have them personally in his house, but he sure does have a lot of love for them. I mean, who wouldn't? These aren't your typical fluffy, cuddly pets. These are fierce, majestic predators. Apparently, these two rare white tigers are living it up on a farm down in Jacksonville, Florida. And hold on to your hats, because they have a full-time caretaker with the coolest name ever, Tiger Dave. Now, that's a name worthy of a superhero movie. Can't you imagine him riding around the farm feeding the tigers with a tiger-shaped apron on? I can't stop laughing. But here's the kicker. Shaq has owned these magnificent creatures since they were tiny cubs. Can you imagine Shaq bottle-feeding little tiger cubs? That's something like out of a Disney movie. He's been with them for a whopping 10 years now. I mean, that's some serious dedication to keeping up with these wild pals. And there you have it, hoop enthusiasts. It's your time to shine. If you've got any wild pet tales, or maybe you're attempting the goldfish slam dunk challenge, spill the beans in the comment section below. We want to hear all about your adventures with exotic pets or your creative attempts to turn your aquatic buddy into a court legend. But hey, before you go, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go and see if I can train my goldfish to do some slam dunks. Stay tuned for more jaw-dropping tales on NBA stars and their wild side. Until then, keep balling and keep it wild.